Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against uh, TN and SSV, and I'm going to be with I Love Poland. Now, of course, before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to all notifications, so you'll be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Let's begin. All right, I'm gonna be at the bottom right. Ala Poland will be at the middle right center, uh, middle right corner of the map. Okay, so we go skip. Okay, I tried to get this container, gathering container phase. And of course, we got that thing going on in there. I did not manage to build the Avia factory right off the bat because of the lag. Okay, so again, container collection. Super container appearing right here, as well as right here for Isle of Poland. Let's see what I can do to somewhat, you know, like, uh, get this uh, super container. Alright, well, automatically things are not really looking so good here for me, as I don't have a porcupine for a special vehicle factory. I only have dragonflies, armadillos, and the wasp, and a rifleman. What he has are, like, typhoons, hammers, and cyclones, which is not really good against what I have, or which is really, really good against what I have, rather. Going HQ3 amongst this, and I'm gonna be adding a power plant and uh, to of course some add more supply centers. Now, I go back and forth here as to kite against those uh, cyclones as they can literally instantly vaporize an infantry. That's what I really like about the cyclones is that they can really, really shred infantry, that is, in small numbers. Okay, Typhoon is here. Now, it's not really good for me to uh, maintain my Dragonfly Wasp Armor Composition in there. I'm going to opt out for a level 3 vehicle factory for that Jaguar. Now, let's see here. I love Poland will absolutely demolish this guy and uh, already had an engagement and will be completely overtaking that super container. Meanwhile, here in my end, I'm going to have to destroy the Typhoon with my Wasp Acid as well as the Dragonfly. There you go. Okay. So... Armadillo is uh, used to focus on that Cerberus, which is very, very tanky. Doing micro on my uh, Wasp to keep it alive. Okay, keeping it alive, that is. Okay, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's not really good for my Porcupine, but the range of that Cerberus ain't really that bad with a common attack boost. Okay. So, Wasp is going back for more beating here, and uh, yeah, I mean, as we all know, that, uh, you know, that Cerberus is actually very, very tanky, and, uh, I did try to switch to common attack while those salvos are being released, however, it's really not gonna destroy it. There you go. Very nice pick up there, at least the Cyclone has been destroyed. Jaguar's already almost popping out here. Ooh, man, Cerberus has been, uh, demolished by that Wasp from my partner, Ala Poland, um, who basically has a class 11 Wasp. Imboy. <laughs> All right, now, saving for an HQ level 4 here, okay? And uh, I love Paul and said that he'll go have Hawks and not to continue producing Hawks here in my end, although I do not have plans on making Hawks. I only have plans for Dragonfall Lion. All right. Scout here. Very good scout. Okay. X facility level 2, so we're looking at Seraphim here. Transitioning to research facility level 3 for that Leviathan, of course. HQ, additional factory for obviously porcupines and the mammoths chameleon. A little bit of Jaguar. Okay. So, okay, though. There's like hawks roaming around the map here. Let's see. Okay. I would say that's a good hawk micro. Wow, five hawks could not really destroy that. Was that really? Oh no, that's like four hawks. Okay, my bad, my bad. So four hawks could not really destroy a typhoon in a single shot, but a vertex can destroy a porcupine in one shot. I mean, it's balanced. Okay. There you go here. That hawk chipping away at the HP of that Seraphima. Okay, it's going to have to retreat. Wow, just look at the damage of those uh, Typhoons, man. Seriously, huge. Yeah, balance. Okay, Leviathan is now in production. Super Container appearing right here. However, 
I don't really have anything to go against what he has at the moment because uh, SSV is actually very strong. Skill rank and, uh, well, yeah, skill rank and hero classes are not to be underestimated. Level 4 HQ here from um, TN. Okay. Dragonfly here as a meat bag. Obviously, I kept my wasp alive for the sole purpose of covering my Leviathan. Mammoth will now be produced. Now, at this point, I don't really need that much, uh, you know, porcupines as, uh, you know, I, I my Leviathan's uh, anti-air is maxed out. I just need a few porcupines there because it can take care of four vertex on its own. Okay, five jaggers in there and the rest are going to go down here because I'm planning to attack or moving my army around here and attacking T uh, SSV at the side of his base while maintaining my main army composition in the middle to keep him busy. Let's see how um, Isle of Poland is doing. Okay, five Hawks going six. More unit in production. You got like one special vehicle factory and a vehicle factory. Yeah, I was... Wow, okay. I'm kind of wondering. Okay, so there's like one uh, chameleon in there. Okay, hidden infantry. Very good. Saw that the shield is in there. He is coming. This guy is coming over. Okay, that shield is not being targeted by the Hawks while well, it's still inactive. Very good, I would say. One hawk will be destroyed, as of course typhoons are very, really, really good against there. Okay. We see the Cerberus there, tanking the grenade of the rifleman, forest firing, or guessing where to force fire that is. Okay. What Isle of Poland here is doing is actually, uh, you know, baiting that Solaris active skill. However, TN is actually not falling for it. He saw an opportunity to pick up that Zeus, and he will. Used a uh, scouting boost to see further, you know. Okay, and I saw that the Seraphim is actually going down here, so it's actually really bad, and the army follows along with it. Come in, uh, or gold knee, uh, gold vehicle boost has been used. Let's see how uh, Alapollin here is doing. A solid hit as he managed to destroy the shield, and I'm gonna have to run away out of that Cerberus. Okay, so how many porcupines are firing at that Seraphim? Five porcupines, man. Okay. Five porcupines. And it still lived. Wow. Imboy. I mean, yeah. I mean, porcupines uh, does a really garbage damage on armor level three, to be honest with you guys. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Now, the use of the dragonflies here are, well, to act as a meat bag for my wasp and the uh, leviathan. However, its primary use is actually to gain high ground view so that my mammoths and the uh, units from below the cliff can actually fire from the units above the cliff because of the uh, of the view. Now, both me and the Isle of Poland are under attack by TN and, well, I'm actually attacking uh, SSB at this point. Let's go. Okay. TN is actually doing good here with the attack. Ooh, wow, the damage of my porcupines, man. Okay, that Seraphim actually landed to be covered by the shield, which is absolutely great. Here goes, through the Acid Strike. Okay now, and so Mammoths, there's not really that much here from my end. So I'm gonna have to fall back here. Uh, Solaris already appeared. Okay, let's go over to this side of the map here. Solaris chipping away at that barracks from Isle of Poland. Ooh, so many Vertex in the Typhoons in here. There's only four Vertex, so again, yeah, so many Typhoons, Vertex, Seraphim firing at my Leviathan, and it still managed to live. Yay! Okay, managed to destroy all four Vertex, and my Leviathan lives to see another day. We see here, um, Isle of Pollen with a very good micro in that Leviathan, chipping away at that Zeus HP without taking any damage. Okay, now at this point, I, r I ran out of Wasp here, or my Wasp is low on HP. And uh, also my Leviathan is low on HP, so I'm going to have to retreat. Again, I love Poland here, pushing back TN with an acid strike from the Wasp and the Leviathan to follow up. Boom! Solid hit! Leviathan, class 10. Yeah, man. Okay, now there's, now there's absolutely no shield here, and those Hawks are now going to rain rampage here. Kablooey! Kablooey! And there you go. The Leviathan is now going to take care of that Typhoon that is that, that Typhoon that is unsieged. Is he gonna go overextend? 
Okay, there's absolutely no typhoons here and he's actually being pushed back. Meanwhile, here in my end, I'm just sieging the hell out of this uh, army that is trying to obtain the super container and are maintaining a position from down below. While recovering the HP of my units, I'm using a gold recovery boost. Going back through the action here with Isle of Pollen pushing TN back because the lack of typhoons is very evident. <coughs> Excuse me. Vertex from SSB trying to somewhat help out his partner by assisting him with the Vertex uh, counterattack. Spreading my mammoths apart to avoid a Thor bombing run. Okay, Vertex uh, chipping away at anything it can chimp away. Okay, Super Container appeared right here. Mammoths making their work now. Okay. Mm hmm, Solaris. We're gonna have to uh, activate the Chameleon. Of course, it's a free damage from that Solaris, which is absolutely nice. I don't really care about that super container. I already have like full command points at this point. I actually used a gold scouting boost for vehicles so I can see um, more and that the mammoths can fire at it. Yay! Okay, destroyed a bunch of Zeus in there for free. Absolutely free. I don't really care how much containers he'll get. That's absolutely 480 containers or 600 uh, containers. There goes the engagement. Mm-hmm. There's an absolute lack of Typhoon here. I wish you could have added another special vehicle factory, but I think it's already too late. Okay. Now I'm going to have to position my army here since uh, SSB actually retreated. Uh, Pollen really doing great here, and as you guys can see, he only have this much for a base. Okay. Now I'm going to have to try and use the mole here, cover it with chameleon, and use the turrets from above the cliff and cover it with chameleon so that I can gain high ground view and deal free damage at the same time. Okay, spreading my units apart behind that mole. There you go. Using the, uh, oh, and my chameleon just evaporated. And again, now from below the cliff here, since uh, the turret has been destroyed, I gain no high ground view. I'll hide the, the uh, mole. Going back here, there's like a Thor. Okay, that's why there was a simple lack of uh, typhoons and army vehicle from TN. It's because of the transition to Thor. Okay, solid hit right there. Eee, okay, destroyed a bunch of units along with my dragonflies. I don't care. There are meat bags, and as you can see, my Leviathan is still full health. Okay, Alapala is taking it slowly in here. There's like a bunch of typhoons. Okay, and I'm going to have to use two stuff here groupings and so on. But lag kicked in at the same time, preventing me from controlling those Jaguars nicely. Oh, Mammoth, do your thing. Is it still alive? Mammoth, Mammoth. Lol. Anyway, okay, so I'm attacking uh, SSB and destroying that power plant while having the Mammoth to chip away the HP of that um, factory. However, my chameleon ran out of energy. There you go, solid hit there from those hawks, destroying that badly bruised up shield. And uh, Ala Pollen is uh, taking this opportunity to somewhat attack um, on the side pretty much a larger army than when, what I'm trying to accomplish okay and here we go uh, TN is absolutely trying desperately to save his partner okay two seraphims now attacking and there's like the Thors solid hit destroying a chameleon and another chameleon ran out of energy meanwhile on my end I'm gonna have to press forward here while the mammoths are firing at from, well, from far away. Okay. Nuclear will now be dropped. Acid strike before the wasp died. Bam! Solid hit there. Class 11 and class 10. Um, wasp and Leviathan damage, man. Absolutely worth it. Okay, now, and that uh, Leviathan is super low on health. And here goes my Leviathan with the nuclear. Taking away at that. Uh, chipping away at that factory. Kabloy, taking out some other units with it along with a vehicle or vehicle factory and a construction yard preventing any construction from SSB. 
there you go and there is absolutely no way that this guy can actually defend this much man Leviathan is so low on health I'm gonna have to try and attempt to save it from taking any damage by using the passive with the wasp and catching or using the wasp as a meat bag to um, you know to help that Leviathan survive from I love Pollen. Acid strike again okay oh man and it actually failed lol okay now oh look at the damage of my mammoths from the from the backside here Boo! Mammoth for the finish, dude. Okay, now and then there's absolutely no way that there's there ever will there ever will be a coming back here. So yes, I mean, what an action-packed battle there. Two versus two, and ooh, bombing run. Okay, that's why I actually moved my army there, but still my, some of my units has been destroyed. But whatever. Speechless. <laughs> Boom! Alright guys, so if you guys enjoyed this much, uh, I mean these kinds of content, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming, or coming from my channel. Also, check out my previous videos as they contain tips, tricks that can help you play like this. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for, for your time, and thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battle commanders. Yeah, that, that Solaris is so done. GG. Bye now.